Well, in terms of uh, developing an online course, it, it, it's quite a lengthy process. It, I would say probably at least a year, if not more, uh, from the decision to uh, offer the course at the department level. Uh, then I had to talk to the dean about it. And then, of course, working with EDC to work on the technical and pedagogical strategies for developing the course. Um, and then uh, another factor becomes reshaping your content in a suitable manner for an online course. So it's quite a lengthy process, certainly not a last minute endeavor. So when a faculty member is interested in either offering their course fully online or in a blended format, or if they just want to um, supplement their regular face-to-face -face class, uh, they'll come to us and basically we'll just have a conversation talking about how they currently teach the class or if it's going to be a brand new class, how they imagine it to be. And sometimes um, through the conversation, we'll just ask some, some key questions, you know, who are your learners, what are your goals, what are your learning outcomes or expectations in the class, and um, you know, what current assessments do you have, and ideally, what would be you know, a great thing that you'd like to try. And so we keep it very conceptual to begin with, and we just sort of map out um, what they envision, and then we can t talk about options from there um, within what you know, various tool sets exist. I give some examples of how I've seen other things happen at other universities or within our own university, and uh, we show them uh, examples of those, and we just carry on the conversation. Usually they'll go back and think about things and then come back, and we'll, we'll set up regular meetings. Ideally, a faculty member will come to us with, um, with the, the desire to offer the course um, at least an, a year um, in, the, in the future so that we can have some uh, sufficient planning and organizational logistics worked out of how they want to deliver the course. Let's start with time. Um, in our experience at Carleton, um, it takes anywhere between four and six months uh, to complete uh, an online course. A course, in some cases, it can depend. Uh, it can depend on the amount of time that a faculty member can dedicate uh, to building an online course. It can depend on the complexity of the course as well. But typically, it's four to six months. The, the design process that we follow at Carleton, I think, is something that's relatively common um, in uh, universities across North America and that is a faculty member will often have a, an idea and they say you know what I think this course would work really well online then they will communicate with at Carleton uh, the Educational Development Center which is the group that's responsible for supporting uh, online course development and they'll say that you know what I, I want to take this course or develop a completely new course uh, and turn it online uh, what sort of resources or what sort of supports might be available. And then in an in initial series of meetings, usually with one person, maybe a couple of people initially, um, you know, we give them a sense of the timelines that are typically in place and uh, we start to talk about the different roles that, uh, or different support uh, people that uh, are available at Carleton and that a key part of that is the instructional designer and the instructional designer for us at Carleton uh, is a person that wears many hats um, they they're at first someone that works very closely with uh, the faculty member to help them understand um, about how it might be best to to structure a course. Um, if there are no learning outcomes that have been defined for the course, um, help them guide them in that case. Uh, they act as a project manager in terms of coordinating and thinking about um, what tools might be needed or what people might be need to be brought in to support that. Um, if it's a course that's going to use a lot of media, we bring in our award-winning uh, media production uh, center team um, with a fully equipped studio to shoot, uh, to shoot videos, whether on site or on a variety of different locations. If the, the course requires uh, specific uses of educational technologies, we have uh, a set of great individuals that can work with that faculty member and the instructional designer to, to help design and incorporate those activities. It's interesting because when you, um, I mean, a few years ago when I was starting in this role, I did look for different kind of paper templates, you know, get the instructors to fill in this and then they can fill in that. And don't, I've never really found that that successful. <laughs> I think everybody comes to it in a different way and uh, for some people what's really meaningful for them is to think about 
you know, what are the important concepts, what are the threshold concepts that they have to deal with in their particular course and then, and then kind of build around that. Um, in our Teaching Excellence Academy, uh, one of the first things we get um, instructors to do is actually to build a concept map with their content items so that they can see the relationship between different parts of the course and often that can be really helpful for them to get a perspective on how the whole course fits together. But some people don't really need that. They, they have a really clear idea of, of what the content and concepts are and, and you know, where the, the instructional bottlenecks are, where are the challenges for the students, and, and, and they can zero right in on those and, and, and see how the whole picture is going to fit together with the activities addressing some of those particular things. So it really depends. The course flow and timeline for course development, I think, varies a lot from course to course and instructor to instructor. It's very difficult to generalize about that, I think, that uh, my own experience was that I had a very good ex experience in terms of course development and the timeline and the time frame that I went through. I basically started course design in uh, May, in the spring, for a course that was going to be offered in the fall. And I spent four months going through the course design process from start to finish, as well as building the website developing the course content, and it was very time intensive. It took me an enormous amount of time and effort to, to go through that, but for me, my style of, of working through this was that I was very interested in the technology side of it, and I spent a lot of time on uh, researching equipment, software, lighting, video, and so on. Someone else might have a very different experience. If they are uh, working more closely with someone that's able to do that for them, they might shorten that aspect of the timeline. So it's something that varies from uh, one discipline to another, one course to another, the style of teaching, the objectives, whether there are practical sides to it. In my case, there's software involved that could be very different than somebody else. So it's hard to generalize, really. We've had a process in place for a few years now. It begins with a course design institute, and typically we have a cohort of online instructors who attend. Uh, the Course Design Institute is actually in, intended for all instructors, so they initially are mixed in with others who are interested in redesigning or designing new courses because the principles and the premises and the starting point of course design is the same regardless if it's online or a face-to-face -face course. So we begin together, but then uh, we do a bit of a streaming for the cohort who are teaching online, and we begin a team-based process the educational technology professional from their department or division who's helping them with the course development process also attends. And we also have librarians, so we'll have a, a team that may include a range of roles, perhaps an audiovisual technician as well, instructional design consultant and others, form a team that support that instructor on that journey of course design. 